Which language? Alright, let's go to English. I am um, what do you call it? Shapeshifter. I can do British and I talk like this, depending if I talk to the British people. Or I go American and I hello, I'm here, blah 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 blah. So I have no personality, basically. That's <laughs> or many, depending on how you want to see it. So Bjornstein. Stain, stain, rhyme some brain and pain. Oh, I'm so sorry. No worries. You're not the first stain. and you're not the last. Bjorn Stein. Bjorn Stein. And that's from Stein. That's actually a soldier's name from the 19th 17th century or 16th century uh, from Småland. They had short soldiers' names like Boom, Klang, Stein, which I assume means Sten, which means rock. So it's a very cool, um, my name is Rock. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my name is Bjorn Stein, and this is my flip side. We just uh, finished the shoot of Shadow Play, which is a eight episode TV series that we shot in Prague for half a year now, so I came home one week ago, back to Sweden, back to the bat cave here, and editing process has started. And we have one editor in Sweden, one editor in Berlin, and um, so what they've done right now is sent their first assemblies of, because they've been editing the whole process through from one week after we started shooting, they've been editing every uh, week every scene they get so depending on I mean for example the last feature we did I edited the whole feature because I love to do that but it also gives me a possibility of shoot film which is 30 days pretty quick and then editing is a, is a separate period whereas this is such a long period so if we were to wait for editing and start on day one one week ago it would take half a year extra so we don't really have the time to wait for me or somebody else to edit after the shoot so we need to start uh, at the same time as we start shooting you work different with every actor i think you learn to see oh this is a person who needs a lot of attention but then you push them like that and the other one doesn't want to talk at all wants to uh, present their things and then get reactions from it so you just have to um, make them see that you respect their way uh, and at the same time you're imposing your ideas on them and, and finding that balance of how should I approach this actor you have to create uh, an arena for them that when they feel secure to do their thing not think about other stuff they should just think about how can this be as good as it can be I have a camera on me right now I'm not so used to having cameras on me it is something. It, it, it's, it demands something from, for you, from you. And uh, you kind of forget that when you sit behind the monitor all the time and watch something, you know, and they have to deliver, constantly deliver something that a lot of people will watch. Yes, but I, I think they're, and they're, I think they're also, I mean, as I say, they're a little bit boring to shoot sometimes. So I think they've gone away a little bit just because they're boring. I think they've gone away because they're uh, costly, as you say. Uh, but I don't know, for me, it's, it's more of a, of a rhythm thing. It's also uh, uh, the breathing thing. It's also if you've been inside a vault having an interrogation, you just need to fresh air and you just need some production value and you need to see the they are in a city and it takes place in a big city and there's people around them going about so you create the illusion that this is actually happening for real so they have a lot of different purposes and you can easily overuse them or underuse them if that's a word <laughs> so after this uh, question i will 
uh, take the location outside probably. Yes. And I will walk over. We will see you walk. Okay, walk Just into the... <laughs> Maybe slow shot. Well, depends on what you want to achieve with that.